All right, I want to do one, um, talk for a minute about mindset and um, the mental game around this, if you will. Um, I, I, this is this is a huge topic, but if I could tell you just some things to keep keep in mind that that um, you need to adopt, if you will. Every time you go to manage an airway, this skill is on the menu. Um, when the bottom of the you reach the bottom of the syringe of rocuronium or succinylcholine or whatever paralytic you're using, you are committed to performing a cricothyrotomy or surgical airway. You, that that has to you have to embrace that. You might not like it, but you you absolutely have to embrace it. And just always know that this is this is a possibility. It's one of our four oxygenation lifelines. Um, you need to prepare yourself for it. Um, if, if you work in emergency medicine um, and, you, and you manage airways, uh, if you do this long enough, um, eventually you're gonna, you're, you're gonna have to perform one of these. I'll have people from time to time that, that will tell me straight up, they'll say, you know, oh, I work in a place, I'll never have to do this. And my words for them are brace for impact. So this, this you, you need to adopt this attitude of every time you get ready to step up to manage an airway, just ask yourself, is today the day I'm gonna do a crike? Um, and talk about this, have the equipment out, practice it. So when it happens and you find yourself in that state of can't intubate, can't ventilate, can't oxygenate, it's not a surprise. You've already talked about what you have to do when you get there. Now that you've arrived, it's just a simple execution. That's it. That's it.